What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I want to talk about new free agent signings, Mike Davis and Barkevious Mingo. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys who recently helped me hit my milestone of a thousand subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So I really appreciate you guys sharing out my content, telling your friends and family about the channel. Uh, but with that being said, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So in Atlanta Falcons news, if you haven't heard already uh, this morning, Atlanta Falcons news broke that we signed running back Mike Davis. Um, he is an Atlanta Falcons native uh, from the state of Georgia. Um, so this is a homecoming for Mike Davis, a uh, former Carolina Panthers running back. Uh, he goes about 5'9", 220 pounds. Um, I love this signing by the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Mike Davis is a physical runner. Um, he puts me in the mind of uh, Michael Turner, former Atlanta Falcons running back. Also, he puts me in the mind of a player like Maurice Jones-Drew, a former uh, Jacksonville Jaguars Pro Bowl running back. He reminds me of both of those former Pro Bowlers, um, just the way that he's built, um, short, stout, a very physical runner. Um, another thing I love about um, the running back of Mike Davis, he runs with great pad level, great leverage, and he has great um, vision when he runs the ball. He runs with great patience and he did a great job of uh, toting the rock last year for the Carolina Panthers. Um, I believe when he faced the Atlanta Falcons, the first matchup in Atlanta, um, he rushed for over 100 yards against us uh, last season and he did a great job of running over us. He basically gashed us all day in the run game, um, carrying Atlanta Falcons, you know, carrying multiple players on his back. Um, and, you know, carrying our players for extra yardage. He also was one of the best running backs last year in breaking tackles. I believe he was second in the league um, behind Alvin Kamara. I believe the stat was that he was one of the most elusive backs, one of the most phys uh, physical backs when it came to yards uh, after contact. So I definitely love this signing of Mike Davis. Um, it's, he's definitely... Um, going to be a great running back in this running back by committee that we're going to have next year with the Atlanta Falcons. Um, and I do believe that we definitely are going to get back to a physical running style with Arthur Smith as our head coach in this offensive scheme, a run heavy offensive scheme with a lot of play action. I definitely think Mike Davis fits this scheme perfectly. Um, and he's one of those guys that's not going to tippy toe at the line. He's a guy that hits the hole hard. And I definitely, um, I definitely love this signing by our Atlanta Falcons. I believe he signed a two year deal for about five point five mil, which is a really good deal um, for him and our Atlanta Falcons. Um, but I definitely, like I said, love this signing. Um, he's definitely a good compliment to a player like Edo Smith, who's a scat back and also a physical runner, a physical runner like a Quadri Olison. Um, I do think the Atlanta Falcons still may draft another running back, a younger running back in this upcoming draft. But I do think that Mike Davis could possibly be the starting running back for our team, depending on who we draft. So he definitely is a veteran, been around the league. Like I said, a guy that runs really hard and he's one of those physical downhill runners. So I definitely like this signing of Mike Davis. Um, also, we did sign as well Barkevious Mingo who's a defensive uh, in or outside linebacker. He can play both of those roles, um, an edge rusher. Uh, Barkevis Mingo goes about 6'5", 240 uh, to 245 pounds. Um, he actually, I believe, was drafted out of LSU and was a first-round pick, if I'm not mistaken, for the Cleveland Browns um, a couple years back. But I do like this signing by Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Barkevis Mingo is a guy that gives us depth at that outside linebacker position slash edge rusher. Um, he signed a one-year deal with our Atlanta Falcons. He's a guy that has very long arms, which I love at the outside linebacker or the edge rusher position. Um, and I believe in his rookie year, he had about five sacks, which is really good. And then he had about two sacks, um, if I'm not mistaken, 
a couple of years. He's been on a couple different teams. He also won a Super Bowl with the New England Patriots in 2016 when they beat us in the Super Bowl. So he's a guy that has a lot of experience. He's a veteran player, and I definitely think that he's he will be a player that we can use on special teams. He's a glue guy that we can use in our pass rush um, rotation. And I've talked about it um, numerous times here on my channel. We need as many active bodies as possible on this defense. Guys that we can uh, rotate in and out to keep these guys fresh. So he's another guy like a uh, Jacob Toyote Mariner that we're going to have in this pass rush rotation. John Kaminsky, Marlon Davidson, and these guys up front. He's going to help those guys like a Grady Jarrett and Dante Fowler on, on the edge. So I definitely like this sign in the Barkevious Mingo. He actually played last season with the Chicago Bears and had about two and a half sacks. So he's a guy that you can use in rotation. Um, and I do think that he is going to be uh, this was a solid signing by our Atlanta Falcons, bringing in another uh, active body, a guy, like I said, that can do a lot of different things and be a glue guy on this team. And come in and play a role in Dean P's uh, defense in this three-four style defense. I do think that this kind of solidifies us being mainly a three-four hybrid type team. Um, I do believe we're going to run some four-three sets, as Dean P's basically talked about us being a multifaceted, um, you know, a multi-front defense. But I do think that this solidifies that we're going to mainly play three-four because of the outside linebackers that we've brought in, like. Brandon Copeland and like Barkebius Mingo. Those guys are not really guys that you want putting their hand in the dirt. Those guys are guys that likes to rush from a two point stance. And these guys are very athletic, smart, athletic players. Um, and we know that Dean Pease is a guy that likes to blitz guys from all over the place. And I think Barkebius Mingo is one of those athletes that you can blitz from all over the place. You can drop in coverage. He can do a lot of different things for your defense. And I think having guys that are like these Swiss Army Knife hybrid outside linebackers, edge rushers, I think is what you need in today's NFL to be successful, especially when you're trying to confuse offenses and have guys that are most, you know, multidimensional. They can do a lot of different things, run a lot of different type of stunts when you got guys that are able to cover and rush off the edge and blitz from different angles and, you know, keep these offenses off balance. So I'm loving what. Terry Fontenot is doing so far in free agency. Um, you guys let me know what you think about the signings of Barkevious Mingo and Mike Davis. I think both of these are solid signings. Both guys are veteran guys, glue guys, um, guys that are great in the locker room and guys that are very smart players and know how to come in and play a role to, you know, assist um, and to make our defense better. Because we know as of last year, we need as many bodies on that defense um, and on the offensive side, we really needed uh, more running backs on this team. With us losing a guy like Brian Hill and Todd Gurley, Mike Davis is going to be a welcome sight in that locker room um, and some young legs. Because I believe at this time, I think Mike Davis is about 30 years old. So he still has a lot left in the tank. And I think him and Barkevious Mingo are going to be able to come in and, um, you know, give us some more active, young, active um, athletic players on this team So with that being said This be your boy Ju You let me know what you think of the video um, As always If you want to drop a comment below Definitely drop your comments Let me know what you think about The signings of Mike, uh, Mike Davis and Barkevious Mingo If you have some questions Or you want me to take a look at um, Some other players that are maybe on the um, That are maybe coming out in this upcoming draft you know, draft is about a month away. So definitely drop those comments below if you have a player you want me to do a video on or if you want me to go check out another player. But with that being said, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. If you enjoy my content, uh, please hit that like button Um, if you enjoy my content as well. Um, but with that being said, this being your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.